everyone's making these videos about enhanced summon in parking lots empty some half full trying to go around pedestrians and other cars but what about the original promise of summon let's see if that works just coming out of your garage and coming to you got the app open powering it up and we'll start to see some progress right now mapping out the garage initiating home link Puts a turn signal on, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Turn signal to indicate a right turn. It's coming out. Slowly but surely, a little close. Now it has the hazards on, which is also a good recommendation that I made. And here we go, it's coming right to us. And it's gonna stop. And it's gonna stop. So look at that. It actually does work. Smart Summon. This is probably the biggest feature included in version 10 in terms of functionality, what the car is now capable of doing. Also probably the most popular viral videos going around, people doing incredible stunts or incredible feats, uh, trying to surprise people and show off their Smart Summon. But let's talk about it, let's get into it, let's dive into what it entails, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So Smart Summon is actually just Summon. Uh, Tesla does something where they basically announce a feature of a car, maybe Elon specifically, sorry to call you out, but you announce a feature of a car such as autopilot, such as uh, summon, and you're not quite ready to deliver on that. So what you wind up doing is releasing a beta version, as you see here, beta, or a pre-release version, an early version of that, that has limited functionality. And then what happens is when you actually release the thing that can do all the things that you sort of promised with the initial release, you have to call it smart summon or enhanced autopilot or full self driving, so to speak. And so that's the same thing here in terms of the name of smart summon. Uh, really, it's just summon. This was the original promise that Elon uh, mentioned when he brought up the feature way back when, which is the ability for it to pull out of your driveway, meet you at your front door um, or be able to come to you wherever you are on your, of course, on private property and allow you to be able to easily access your car, especially if you have a detached garage and you want it to come to your, your door for your house and make it available for you on everyday driving. So before we jump into the actual uh, app and get into it, let's talk about uh, the customization of it. So going into the menu here, you have a couple of different options now that you have summon beta or smart summon, if you will. Uh, still says summon beta here, so maybe they should fix that. But customized summon is still the same. This allows you to be able to uh, go inside of your garage. This again, this is an initial instance of summon where it allows you to go into a garage. You still have bumper clearance. You still have summon distance. All of that's still the same. Nothing's different. You can choose whether you want to have continuous press or not, meaning you want to continuously press the fob. Uh, but the smart summon feature is only activated through the mobile application. You can't initiate smart summon through the key fob, but you can still summon using the key fob. Okay, standby mode says, hey, if you want smart summon to activate quicker, Right, you enable standby mode, which allows uh, the car to be awake and alert and receptive to when you initiate it on your phone, on your app. In doing so, this is gonna consume a little bit of energy. And it tells you exactly, some of them will remain on standby when the car is in park. And obviously if it goes below 20%, that's the disclaimer here. If it goes below 20%, it won't work because it consumes a lot of battery power and it wanna make, wants to make sure you don't run out of power in doing so. Okay, so that's the standby mode. This is the new feature here. Uh, one thing to note, is that with this new uh, smart summon, the thing that does not work anymore is the auto park, where you're able to double tap the uh, park button on your stock and the car can choose forward or backward where it wants to park or summon itself into a spot. Uh, that's not working as of 2019 32.11, which is the latest V10 build that we have. That is actually not working. So. Uh, please bring that back to us. So that was also incredibly useful. And until you're able to pull, use Smart Summon to, to go park itself, um, this is something that's going to be still valuable for people, especially in tight parking spot. All right, so let's open up the app and take a look at what this looks like on the app. So on the app right now, when the car is connected to Summon or to Smart Summon, 
you see a button come up that says come to me. This allows you to be able to press and hold that and let the car come to wherever your location is. That's pretty cool. That's one way to summon. The other way to summon would be to open up the summon menu item in Tesla app. And now you'll see forward and reverse, which has always been there. But you also have the smart summon button. You can press that. And now you can see exactly where you are. You can actually then choose a reticle in the front where, where your target is. And you can actually move uh, the map behind it. Instead of moving the reticle and sort of dragging your finger, you actually have to move the map and the reticle stays static. And this basically says, hey, where do you want the car to go? And you can move it to wherever you want it to go. So again, two types. One, come to me wherever my phone location is. That's what you see here in the blue circle or the reticle that you have here where you can move that to wherever you need it to go and the car will go there, okay? The car will go there and it draws out a path for it. The recommendation is to always use the satellite view as opposed to the map view. This is the map view, which makes it very hard to see uh, what's going on and where things are. Use the, the satellite view to be able to see more detail and that's the recommended way to use Smart Summon. That way you see exactly what it's going into in a way that the map view is not going to be able to show you, all right? You also need to understand that you have to be within range. I believe it's 150 feet. As you see the circle around your phone, you have to be within range of this. And then you basically hold this. And when you hold this, a visualization is gonna come up on the screen. You're gonna be able to see exactly what the path is that's been drawn out. And you also get what's known as a spatial mapping. Uh, spatial mapping means that the cameras on the car and the radar on the car visualize what's around it, which is very, very cool, very, very cutting edge stuff in terms of visualization, whether you're in a garage or somewhere else, it'll visualize the environment around it and draw sort of a sketch mock-up, what it sees in terms of the environment around you, which is pretty cool. And then it'll follow the path that's laid out and you'll be able to summon the car to where you need it to go. So again, very cool to see, very cool um, that you have it here. But what's, what's problematic about this right now is that the car often gets disconnected depending on your level of signal, of a, of a cellular signal, or depending on whether you're on Wi-Fi with your car, maybe you're at home, uh, it seems to get disconnected from the vehicle quite a bit, um, and it's really sporadic. It's hard to say. Uh, it will get disconnected when trying to summon. It can get disconnected while in the midst of summoning, and it may be stopped mid-flight. But at the end of the day, we need to understand that this is a work in progress. It's going to get better. But as of right now, you definitely want to be careful. You want to be cautious, and you don't want to try to use this reliably over and over again because it's hard to reproduce all the time because of the connectivity issues. Um, where you won't be able to use the smart summon feature is on public roads or roads that the uh, that Tesla has deemed as public roads in their uh, you know map database, if you will. So if your house is close to a public road, it may consider it a public road and say, hey, you can't use summon there. You can't use summon on highways, public streets, or any other road that it deems as public. Uh, it just won't activate. I'd say it can't. It can't work. Um, you also won't be able to use Summon if you don't have a clear cellular signal and line of sight. So if you're in a multi-level garage, the signal is faint or non-existent for the car, Smart Summon won't work, and it won't be able to come up to different levels of the garage to be able to meet you. So you can't use it there either. Obviously, if you're in a remote location as well, you won't be able to use it because it won't have a signal and therefore can't communicate to the car. One of the other cool things that it does is it actually uh, recognizes, identifies pedestrians and waits for them. And it gives you a signal on the screen that says, hey, I'm waiting for a pedestrian. I'm waiting for some object to clear the path. So it's actively scanning the environment, sh seeing everything around it and communicating back to the app that, hey, there's something in my way. I can't continue or I'll wait for it. All right. So there you have it. That is Smart Summon. Uh, in a nutshell, not just a party trick, but it's really intended for people with disabilities, people who, uh, you know, may not be able to walk as far as they parked away, especially if you have groceries and things like that. But really, it's intended for the initial uh, sort of use case, which is I have a detached garage and I need my car to come to me because of whatever. So it's really great. It's really awesome. Hopefully they can improve it over time, fix the issues with the uh, with the location of the phone and being able to get a proper uh, ping on your phone in the right location uh, and making sure it's consistent. It connects every time. Uh, I'd also like to be able to um, see Smart Summon grow in the instance where I can map out parking lots in more detail. And when I select a parking spot, it knows to park itself in that spot. That would be pretty great. I hope Tesla keeps refining it and making it better. Let me know your thoughts about Summon, Smart Summon, if you will. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you have it. Let me know if you've tested it out. We'd love to get some feedback. Let's get it in the comments and let's bring it to Tesla's attention and hopefully they can make adjustments 
and fix it and refine it over time. Until the next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your Tesla.